Use your smile to change the world, but don't let your smile... No, I got that wrong. But let's reiterate that. Uh, <laughs> got a tongue tie. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Well, it's clear Ryan's been Googling poems. Welcome back to Dating Indoors. In the last episode, Ryan was seemingly on the brink after suffering a blackout midway through, only for Crystal to break and make history. She turned her camera back on in a highly unprecedented move. They've ended up going all the way. Let's see how they get on in their very own online date. We kind of broke the rules a little bit, didn't we? Well, I say we, I, I broke the rules because we weren't supposed to really talk to each other, were we? Ahem, I think you two have got some explaining to do. When we did the show, I wasn't really looking for a relationship at all. I wasn't looking for anything that I found with Crystal at the moment. Sometimes the best things come when you least expect them. When you left your light on for me, I wanted to get in touch with you because I felt like we we had some sort of connection. Yeah, so. I just happened to stumble across this opportunity and I thought I'd just do it for a laugh and then little did I know it was going to turn into something incredible. It's the best decision I've made in a very, very long time. You know what, I think if you turned your camera off, the whole process of getting involved with this would uh, be kind of like a broken pencil really sort of completely pointless, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Not had a lot of relationships. Previously, I was in a relationship that lasted six, seven years, and I'm a father of identical twins. And unfortunately, we couldn't be together anymore. But, you know, we persevered and we, we got through it, and she's with somebody else and she's happy now, and obviously I've found somebody else, and I'm really happy, so what it's all about. Right, should we get down to business? <laughs> Let's get down to business, right. The guys at Word on the Curb have pulled it out of the bag once again and provided these two with their own goodies for their date. And of course, dinner is on the house. Let's do it. Go down where? Can I come down there with you? Or is that too, is that too soon on a first date? I don't know, you tell me. I'll tell you what, I'm all for an innuendo but not this many, all right? Um, she'll probably kill me for saying this, but yeah, we've, I mean, we've been getting up to all kinds of mischief, really. Um, but we've, we've, you know, we've done things which has a really nice sentiment to them as well, so. Oh, wow, this is, this is, this is cute. What have you got? Yeah, we, I've got some roses as well. I don't mind a bit of sexting. I think it's healthy. And especially in this time, you can't see them. Like, everyone's got needs, you know? <laughs> so you just gotta do what you gotta do. Yes, indeed, they have been sexting. There is nothing wrong with that at all. But make sure you are following Word on the Curb on Instagram so you can see when we reveal what they've been saying to each other. I wasn't looking for anything that I found with Crystal at the moment. So that's really special, the fact that we found that when we both weren't looking for something like that. Well, it's fair to say that Ryan and Crystal probably know each other a bit more than most people going on a second date. Right, so first question, babe, is let's circle back when we first met on Dating Indoors. Why did you pick me? Because Obviously, you're good-looking, I don't even need to tell you that. I'm funny. Oh. <laughs> like, you're creative as well. You know, she's amazing to look at. She's got loads of unique features, so for an artist, for drawing, she's a bit of a dream come true, really. I did her a portrait for her birthday, because it was a birthday a few weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, he, he sent it to me, and my mum accidentally opened it, and she was absolutely amazed by it. Well, you've shot me there, mate. One. What a talent, and two, what a beautiful sentiment. Better than getting a card from Moonpig, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Definitely better than Moonpig. Not quite as good as sexting, though, is it? Instinct. I always say you should listen to your heart and follow your instincts, because we've all got them for a reason, right? And that is true. But I was just drawn to you, and I'm very happy. I think we could have something really special in the future, all being well. I agree. Look at this salad. Can you see this? Now that is a proper salad right there. That is quite a beastly salad you've got there. Yeah, lovely salad, mate. Shame someone's fucking dropped it. What do you like about me so far? What don't I like about you? Um, <laughs> I like everything about you. And that's a really cliche thing to say, but it's fact. I like how natural I can be with you and you can be with me. We don't really, you know, she's coming to my life and 
like after five weeks or whatever, she's changed it already. Like we've got some great ideas and the future looks quite prosperous, really. You just got everything. You just tick every box. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I could carry on, but we've only got, we've only got like a couple of hours, but I could go all day, do you know what I mean? I just realised what I've said there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I could probably do that as well. <laughs> Ever were with yourself, you knew exactly what you were saying. He drops a couple of blue pills and he can go for hours. Yeah, all right, mate. ...difficult and dismal time. But since we've been speaking and we've met each other, I think it's really brought the best out in us both. Yeah, I feel like it's forced me to get my answer to get it. <laughs> Use your smile to change the world, but don't let your smile... No, I got that wrong. But let's reiterate that. Uh, <laughs> got a tongue tie. Use your smile to change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Well, it's clear Ryan's been Googling poems. So. Um, why did your last relationship not work and what did it teach you about yourself? It is a good question. <laughs> I was very in a very bad place and I've learned that communication and trust are the most important things in a relationship. Most definitely, yeah, of course, of course. You should be with someone who supports you no matter what and raises you up, not tries to drag you down not to settle for less than you deserve. Yeah, I love that. That's completely right. Mm -hmm. I feel like me and my ex were on different levels of life. I'm much more of a passionate person and I'm quite a free spirit and I just felt a little bit trapped. Ryan's completely different from my last relationship in every single way you could possibly imagine. Like, he allows me to just be myself. I don't feel like I have to tiptoe on eggshells around him. We just appreciate each other for who we are, so that's the main thing for me. I've never wanted to meet somebody and see somebody as much as I want to meet you and see you right now, and I really mean that, genuinely. It feels like it's too long. Obviously, because we haven't met, and you know, the anticipation is building and things are getting stronger, and, um, but we don't want to break the rules. So we've exchanged t-shirts and she's been wearing it and posting pictures of it. Right, stop there. That is her Instagram, but they've exchanged t-shirts. So please show some respect. Him very much. Tell me one bad and one good habit that you developed over this period of time. One bad habit is probably eating all the time <laughs> that, that, in fact that is a bad habit that has become a very bad habit you know i'm just a bit scared now that i might not be able to get back out do you know what i mean like, i'm scared that i might not be able to fit through the door you'll just have uh, to roll out it's fine i'm just yeah just gonna have to squeeze me out one way or another yeah like in charlie and the chocolate factory with that girl when she eats <laughs> the chewing gum. listen we've all got a little bit of lockdown weight quarantine kilos a good know? habit is probably getting to back in touch with my creative and artistic side because I kind of let it slip a little bit because I was busy with my kids or I was busy with work. I didn't really have a lot of time to just sit and focus on doing drawing or painting or art. So yeah, it's definitely got me back in touch with that and I absolutely love it. Yeah, the whole eating thing, I think that's the same. I think that's the case for most people because obviously you're stuck indoors, like what else is there to do? I would say bad habit is probably spending a little bit too much time on my phone. Like, oh shit, it's been like how many hours? Um, a good habit is I've been creative as well. I've definitely been drawing more. Um, I've had a lot more ideas, I've been acting on things a lot more. Just being more proactive. I thrive off that. I've been, I've been following you and, and seeing what you've been posting and keeping up to date with what you've been doing. And it's so good to see. Moving on, right, so I've got my final question for you here, sweetheart, all right? It kind of gives us an insight to where we're going to go. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you outright. That is one hell of a build-up to a question. It better be good. And we all do love a bit of chocolate. Who doesn't? Okay. One final question that I want to ask you, all right? Do you see a future with me 
after this pandemic? Well, I think we can guess what our answer is going to be to this, but you know, it's my job. So three, two, one. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. You've made me the happiest man alive, Crystal. I really mean that. Oh, some really beautiful words there, mate. Uh, I totally agree with you. And I'm so happy that you started something new. <laughs> I think the one thing about this whole lockdown scenario, it's definitely put things into perspective. Just how precious life really is. People need people. Everybody needs somebody. I'm really excited about the future and what's in store for us. So thank you so much. I genuinely mean that. I'm really, really happy. This has literally changed my life. I'm really thankful to Dating Indoors. I don't normally get involved with any kind of reality television, but without it, I wouldn't have met Crystal potentially. So yeah, thank you very much. Oh mate, there's some beautiful words there. Beautiful. Wasn't it's been an amazing day. So I really enjoyed this. So, cheers to you, sweetheart. Cheers to us, and cheers to the Word on the Curb team for having us on. Thank yes, you. Thank you so much. Look at this. Look what I have done. Look at it. I am the best matchmaker ever. Listen, guys, we've done it again. I've been Will Richards, aka Cupid. We've been Word on the Curb, and you've been watching Dating Indoors. We'll catch you at the next one. Hi, I'm Ryan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Crystal. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. Hi, I'm Ryan. And I'm Crystal. And we'd like to thank Word on the Curb. <laughs> <laughs> We're Ryan and Crystal. And we would like to thank Word on the Curb, Dating the Doors, for introducing us each other but it's turned out to be the best thing that's happened to both of us in our life every day i learn something new about crystal and i find a reason to love her even more than i could possibly imagine to do already so that is very really cute isn't it so once again big thank you to word on the curve <laughs> and dating indoors for bringing us two together thank you